uh, it is a kind of mobile apps, and the mobile traffic map service is uh, one of the this app. Our background is here. Uh, for your information, NTIC is National Transport Information Center. is a national organization. Uh, it, they collecting all the traffic information in South Korea and um, synthesizing the contents and they providing information to people. Uh, the background of this project is this. NTIC's <coughs> the requirement is very simple. They want to deliver real-time traffic information to users to disperse traffic on major national holidays. For example, Lunatic New Year's Day, New Year's First Day, and Chuseok. Chuseok is the equivalent of Thanksgiving Day. Uh, at those uh, holiday season, uh, in Korea, about 30 million people move to visit their hometowns and families. Uh, that amount is nearly 60% of the population of South Korea. The mass, immig mass migration causes the people to be interested in the traffic conditions. And these days, the most of the people have a smartphone, so they want to use, get, want to get more information through our smartphone. Uh, so, the briefly, the main features of the mobile traffic map service is like this. Uh, they are, it, is, it supports interactive zoom in and out, and the three col steps colorize the traffic data. The green color means uh, free traffic, and the red color means congested. The reference speed is applied by road types, That's various. And in addition, it supports the traffic accidents, traffic accident information, and the CCTVs on the roads. Uh, this is the architecture of 2011. Actually, my company wasn't the one who had designed this system. There was a company who originally designed, and but there were a lot of problem. As you can see. Uh, it is a Windows-based system, and there are uh, six, six geo servers as a map server, and one PostGIS, PostgreSQL as database. And there is no cache server, and they, the client requests one size image and a non tiled. So there are lots of prob problem. So 2011, they launched this service. So there, are, there were more users than they expected. And because of absence of cache server, the same location information was reportedly requested to the server because, yeah. and the server so frequently down at peak times. So because of these problems, uh, our customer, NTIC, uh, suspect the performance of the open source GIS, GeoServer, or PostGIS. So NTIC is requires, required to us um, to prepare Chuseok in September 2012 they requested a system improvement. So the requirement is uh, they want to support 200,000 users per day, and they, changes, they want to change database to SQL Server they already had. Uh, because, because at that time, uh, there are not proper good benchmark site using open source GIS at South Korea, so we failed to persuade the customer. And so our, oh yeah. <laughs> so um, we suggested the solutions like that. Um, on top of that, 
we insist that the system architecture should be redesigned and the system regarding maps should be redeveloped. And in second, we propose that all map requests on mobile side should be tiled. In third, a squid proxy server should be used as a cache server for improving the reusability and the performance. And fourth, in order to call out valid traffic information, valid time for cache tile should be determined. We use using WMTS interface and content expire time and custom time tag. And last, we suggested making all the tile map data in advance every five minutes. Here is the new architecture in 2012. Uh, it consists of three SQL server as database and the six geo server. Geo server is making two five six by two five six tiled map in this architecture. And there are two cache server in front of them. And we put cache maker at the cache server side to produce the traffic map data tires in advance. Mm. And the cache maker uses L4, which is a round robin dispersion principle of L4 switch to produce tires. And as we redevelop the, the client uh, mobile app, apps and the mobile web page, we also redesigned it to automatically renew traffic map every five minutes and apply open layers cache structure into mobile apps. Uh, during the Chuseok holiday season in 2012, my colleague Bizei Zhang was being stood by to monitor this system at NTIC. Uh, reportedly, about 1 million people downloaded the mobile app only during that season. As a result, the service was somewhat successfully stable, with was much better than previous system. But frankly speaking, as a developer, it was not satisfied. Uh, mobile app requested time map every five minutes, so unnecessary requests had been increased and the response time consequently got longer. As a traffic tile, as a traffic tile um, comprised of 10 zoom levels, so it had exceeded over 1 million tiles. All the tile map in every level couldn't be updated in advance within five minutes. It's a problem. So we to solve this problem temporarily for nine, 10 level, um, when clients request to let your server make traffic map data dynamically. Therefore, the connection time got longer and the number of connections increased. And also in this architecture has a scalability issue. Um, issue. The cache server can't share the data, so for processing increased requests, cache server should be added here. But adding more cache servers uh, under this architecture need more map server and according to, to uh, SQL server, so it cost it causes cost issue. And then more cache server means uh, more request, more request from the cache maker at the cache server side. So it rose in, um, it rose the SQL server n times. It's a burden of this system. So we suggested the new strategy to our customer. Mm. Uh, we persuaded our customer to use PostGIS again uh, because which provides faster special query function, we think, 
and we designed GeoServer Connect PostGIS one by one instead of SQL Server. And actually, the total size of uh, traffic map data, tiled map data in whole to 10 levels was uh, less than 4 gigabyte. So meaning that data size was not that big. So we to reduce the cost, we um, to speed up data access process. So when adding cache server, we chose memory disk instead of SSD. Furthermore, we changed the system to push tiled traffic map data into cache server. This slide shows arch new architecture this year. Mm. As you can see in the middle, uh, we physically combined map server and database server. And also system generates CSV file there and import host GIS and to sync data we replicate data in Postgres to another Postgres sequence. And instead of cache maker at cache server side, we put the tile generation manager at the map and GeoDB server side. Mm. And what the tile generation manager is like this. Tile generation managers divide the jobs for each geo server clearly to produce web tile data in parallel. And as soon as the jobs finished, they push tiled traffic map data into cache server, each cache server. So in case of increasing ah, cache server. So the map and DB, Map and GeoDB servers uh, only have a role to produce tiled traffic, tiled traffic map data, and the request of the mobile apps can be handled only by cache server side, and don't have influence on Map and GeoDB side servers. So, in case of increasing connections, the system can be serviced by just adding cache server here and with some configuration with the tile generation manager. So it, this architecture is more scalable. And we have another ideas to reduce the total amount of data periodically to be updated. Uh, the idea is very simple because since the changing data containing traffic information, it would be fine if, even if only tiles on passing rows, tiles on passing rows is updated. And it also could be fine even if only tiles of changed traffic information is updated. Mm -hmm. The zoom level, as a zoom level, is, it, this idea is more effective to update data. Uh, this chart shows the result of improve, improved system. Uh, it's, it's compared 2012 and this year. As you can see, the time to update the interval of time generation has been shortened to one minute for, for whole 10 levels. Uh, actually, the developer said to me the, uh, it takes only 10 seconds to uh, change it, change, uh, to update, change the traffic information. And this service is now serviced. Uh, this week during Phosphor-G conference is a Chuseok holiday <laughs> uh, in South Korea now. I was told that the mobile traffic information so system built by new architecture has been smoothly serviced now. So through this project, 
we became to make sure that open source GIS is definitely uh, equivalent to commercial products in terms of uh, performance now. And we got confidence to persuade the customers into adopting open source GIS with no worries. Uh, I think this project is a good uh, case, good case adopting open source GIS, especially by public institution sector in South Korea. There is a, there is a lot of case in South Korea to adopt open source GIS. Uh, with this experience, BJ Zhang, it's, it's, he is the original <laughs> developer I'm not. Uh, he is constructing mobile weather chart service using GeoServer and PostgreSQL at KMA. This is a, these are screenshots, the weather chart. KMA is a kind of med office in England. Mm. So I actually, I was uh, not the member of this project. I don't know the technically deta in detail. <laughs> so <laughs> if you have any questions, please ask Vijay Jang via email. Thank you.